What is going on, 2B? Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gents. Today's video, you can tell by the title, we finally decided on a route for the Red Eye. And I'm pretty excited to share it with you guys. are sitting right here in front of me, man. Well, one of them is. And uh, if you guys have been following the channel for a little while, you probably saw my old video where I went over a couple of routes for the Red Eye. Now, if you didn't see that video, it's probably because you're not subscribed to the channel. So if you want to see more of what's to come, and I promise you, you do. Uh, if you want to see more of what's to come, go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you got the notification when these videos go up. All right? Now, as I mentioned about the previous video, I went over a couple of routes that I was interested in, but wasn't really set on with the red eye. One of them being, you know, going back full bolt on. Full bolt on was the route that I was leaning mostly towards because I've been that way. I know it works. It's simple. It's the cheapest option, and it makes damn good power, especially on a 2.7 red eye. We'll be good. Mid to low 900s with full bolt on E85. I'll be going right back to SRT Auto Works, and they would have set it up, and I would have been good to go. Would have been the cheapest, would have been the quickest, would have been the easiest option to go. But I already did that with my last Hellcat, and I didn't know I'm, I was kind of wanted to try something different. You know what I mean? I wanted something new. So, direct connection comes out. You know, you can keep a warranty, have fun, but the numbers and the power to dollar ratio just wasn't really adding up, and I wasn't really too enthused to go that route. And I mean, I was leaning towards it. You know, it's, it's my second option. That was just, if you guys go back and watch that video, remember that was, just, that was option number two. So, um, ah. Wasn't really feeling it, but you know, if all else fell, I would've went that way. Cause like I said, you get to keep a warranty, you get to make a little more horsepower, but you have to be on race gas, or um, I've seen guys, they've had success with dumping Boostane in there. Regular Octane Booster, like this Lucas, uh, like this stuff right here, I guess it doesn't really work. Like Lucas Oil Octane Booster, I don't think people have been having success with this, but people have been dumping Boostane in their cars and they've been having success with getting their 100 octane modes to activate with their 100 octane. Um, but Boostane is expensive, race gas is expensive. But uh, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, against it. It's just that, you know, just make sure you remember to dump a little bit of Boostane out there if you decide you want that 100 octane mode, which. Like I said, it was the cheapest, but the power to dollar ratio just still wasn't there. So from the dynos that I've seen, stage two red eyes have been making mid, mid to upper 700s. So nothing crazy. They ain't been blowing, you know, the dynos out of the water. Obviously, different dynos are going to produce different numbers and stuff like that, depending on where you are, DA, elevation, all that jazz like that. But um, mid to 700, mid 700s, the, the upper 700s is where I've seen the few that I've seen dyno, and that's where they've been at. And then the times have been like bottom tens, you know, 10 1, uh, 10 0s, and a few stu super stocks have gone nines, like high nine, nine nines, and nine eights, and stuff like that. But anything faster than that, which is damn good, like I, I wouldn't mind a nine, but in a freaking charger red eye. It's gonna be hard to crack a freaking nine second pass, even with a stage two kit. Now they did announce, or there has been rumor, I ain't seen nothing official yet, of the stage three coming. And I've seen, you know, a couple of different variations of the stage three, and I don't I don't think it's coming, guys. I'm sorry. I don't think the stage three is coming. Look how long it took us to get the pre-stage, stage one, and stage two kits from direct connection. I don't I don't think we're getting that stage three. So I'm not holding my breath, and as you can already hear, I didn't hold my breath. And Obviously, option number three that I discussed in that last video was the Whipple, and uh, Whipple's reliability has been in question, and I was not sold on that at all. Like, I wanted to make big power. It definitely would have been the best and most exciting way to go, but um, I found something a little different, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it, too. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Yep, yep, buddy. Yep, buddy. There she go. This is one of them. As you can see, we roll with the... 6466s. There we go. Focus. There you go. 6466s. And uh, not the base snails, not the second tier snails, but kind of like the mid tier snails. snails. Uh, they go 62s, 62Bs, or 62Rs. I can't remember. 6466, 68, 66. I don't know. They go very high, very big. And uh, I don't think I need all that. So. Bad girls out. Obviously, there's two of them, but uh, you only need to see one, right? There's the same. And there's the other one. They're twins. <laughs> They're twins, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. 2024 respected twins. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm 
I don't think you guys know how excited I am, man. When this freaking box showed up, I was literally freaking skirting around the freaking house like, I'm precious. I, I was, I was, I was geeking the fuck out. So, let's go ahead and pop that back in there. And that's that, man. That is that. So, obviously, um, not the initial route that I was thinking of going, but after seeing a couple of trends in the in, in the Mopar community and seeing just what these turbos are capable of, I had to pull the trigger, man. Like I would add the Whipple to my cart and I, it, it just didn't hit me. Like I added these things to my cart and I would get the little butterflies, man. I'm like, oh, I start getting jumpy. I would have to close the freaking browser because there's so many times I was just about to buy just on the spot, just prematurely. Like, uh, bah, uh, bah. And I was like, oh, let's do a little more research, man. And I jumped in forums. I've dumped in um, Facebook pages. I've been looking everywhere. And so far, so good. I've seen nothing but good things. The only people selling these kits off of cars are people who are literally just getting rid of the cars because, you know, they're moving on to a, a completely different build, completely different platform. And obviously, they can't keep kits. But I've seen people ditching Whipples and going Heli. Now, I've seen people dipping Magnusons and going... Um, to heli and i've seen people dumping uh scrapping the full bolt on route and throwing on some twin turbos so um a lot of people seem to be trending slowly towards more and more turbo hellcats so i figured why even go back down the same route like i said i've already been the full bolt on route whipple is kind of sketchy um direct connection just ain't really hitting for me so uh i think i think the turbos are going to be a nice addition man to the red eye I've seen some videos and man, I get excited just watching them. Man, I sit on the phone, I set up. We already have a ship date for the car to go out to uh, Tim Barf at Barf Tuning. If for those of you who are wondering, that's where the car will be going. Um, and the reason I chose him is because one, he literally was on the team to help develop the freaking kit. So if there's anybody that I trust to put the kit together, I, I, I'm hoping he, it would be him. <laughs> like, um, there's some other great shops out there that do great turbo work. Don't get me wrong. I, I hit up Tim Barf see what his quote would look like and i felt like his pricing was the most fair and um he was on the team to help build the freaking help put piece the kits together man like I, he helped build and develop the freaking kit so i feel like that's a pretty good accolade to have behind you when deciding who the hell you want to take your car to he even tuned the first demon 170 with a hellion kit up under it i believe they rolled with 64 66s i don't i don't have that note on me i don't don't quote me but guys google Hellion Demon 170, and I know Tim Barf tuned it, but I want to say it was 64-66s as well. Uh, I'm, I think. Anyway, that's what I rolled with, and if you're wondering why I rolled with the 64-66s instead of just going with the base ones, because they would have been a little cheaper. I believe just the base turbos, the base 62s, they're more than capable of making, you know, four-digit power and, and, and seeing the numbers that I want to see and running the times that I want to see and setting it for the goals that I want. So base 62s would have been more than capable, and I believe that kit comes out around like nine grand, I want to say, eight to nine grand. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll put it up on the screen if I find it. But um, it, it was right there alongside the freaking, the Whipple. But once you start specking, you know, uh, fuel rails and all that other stuff for the Whipple, you can see 10 to 11 grand. That comes right alongside where we pay for this. So this is about 11 grand for uh, the 64, 66s with how I spec it and you can go in there you can even spec on the intake manifold if you want to do that I'm not I didn't do an intake manifold because I'm just I want to try the compound boost route so a lot of people are going to ask that question too I already seen that question asked on the Instagram post that I posted whether it was going to be compound so yes it will be compound boosted the stock blower will stay in place for the time being simply because I'm too four to four two four two portal for the freaking turbo manifold i think that was like an extra five grand so i was like nah that stock blower gonna work for now and you know judging from what i've seen from some terrorist car shop car when he had this red eye uh, other turbo cars other turbo demons who still ran compound boost will be all right the stock blower will be just fine now obviously there's a couple of different ways you can go you can just go in there turn up the boost you can even go to the blower and you know pull it down on the blower but I don't want to touch the blower just yet because it is a stock blower. And like I said, the, the reliability of the two sevens when you start spinning them a little faster, it gets a little bit uh, in question. So uh, I don't want to touch the stock blower, but the 62s or the 64, 66s, we're going to be fine. We are going to be fine. And uh, if I did want to touch it, then me, I would probably just step down to like a, I don't know, two eight or something like that. Nothing too crazy, but uh, either way, we're going to make enough power to go out here and meet the goals that I want to meet hopefully, and uh, run the times that I want to run. 
Um, I believe that was all I have for you guys. I don't think there's any questions that I saw that people asked, but yeah, the car will remain compound boosted. Um, yeah, all the boosts. Let's see it, man. Hell yeah. Look, one more time for you guys, man. One more time. One more time. Listen to it. Listen to it. You hear it? Yep. I heard. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I get, I get excited, man. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Anywho. That's all I got for you guys, man. If you're first time stopping by, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you guys get a notification when your video will up. Swim to the Instagram channel at low3764. All one word, I'll put it down in the description. Until next time, two of you, I'm out.